back I welcome back so we are on Pat free. williams exposing you know what you need to what's do going on on hollywood stop hiding Pat behind. Williams, yeah so you i wish you would have a good, good christmas world of hollywood yes, where yes, secrets yes, lurk okay. behind the glitz and glamour cat williams holidays. has become the bold whistleblower fearlessly calling out the industry's alleged wrongdoers his latest target none other than the powerhouse duo oprah winfrey and tyler perry brace yourselves for a jaw-dropping expose as Kat unveils a sinister agenda that could be undermining black actors' careers. Accusing Oprah and Tyler of orchestrating a disturbing plot against black entertainers, Kat Williams isn't mincing words. It's a scandal that's been brewing with accusations of embarrassment, lowballing, and blacklisting swirling around the once revered icons. But what makes this all the more intriguing is the lineup of A-list critics, including 50 Cent, Ludacris, Dave Chappelle, and the outspoken Monique, all joining forces to condemn the alleged actions of this influential pair. I've never met so many cowards in our black men in show business. And in the relentless saga of Hollywood drama, Monique emerges as the first victim of the alleged sinister alliance between Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry, as unveiled by the outspoken Cat Williams. The year was 2009, and Monique fresh from her triumphant performance in Precious, was slated for a press tour that could have solidified her status as an Oscar-nominated star. The catch? It came with no paycheck. Did that ever happen? Did he ever come to your defense? No. We've never heard Tyler Perry say, Monique did nothing wrong. As she declined the unpaid Cannes Film Festival appearance, Monique's world quickly unraveled. What seemed like a reasonable decision turned into a nightmare of media stories branding her as difficult to work with. The repercussions were swift and severe, offers for roles evaporated, and Monique found herself on the fringes of an industry she once dominated. And then we said, but did you pay her fairly? And then he said, I paid her more than she's ever made. The Hollywood Reporter's deep dive into Monique's tumultuous journey reveals a resilient artist who, even in the face of success, became a casualty of industry politics. The fallout from the Precious Awards campaign lingered for years, with Monique alleging that she was effectively black from the industry, a claim that director Lee Daniels initially dismissed. I felt the same injustices and inequalities that all the black women who came to Hollywood before me felt, Monique explained. Oftentimes, people call that anger. They call it bitterness. They call it unstable. They give it all these titles, except the rift deepened as Monique won the Academy Award, but declined to thank Daniels during her acceptance speech. This decision, she claims, led to a 13-year feud during which she felt excluded from major roles. Daniels, now reconciled with Monique, acknowledges that he envisioned her in significant projects that eventually went to others. The Hollywood Reporter piece also sheds light on Monique's strained relationship with Oprah Winfrey. Oprah, having featured members of Monique's family, including a brother who confessed to molesting her on her talk show incurred Monique's displeasure. Despite her blessing for the brother's appearance, Monique did not want her other family members involved. Now I begin to see commercials with my brother, my mother, my father, and my other brother. Fast forward to the present, and Monique continues to demand public apologies from Oprah and Tyler Perry. In a recent revelation, Monique shared an audio recording of a conversation with Perry where he expressed regret for how he treated her and even pledged to offer a public apology. However, the narrative takes a twist as Perry supposedly conditions the apology on Monique's solo involvement and an apology from her for the blackball claims. Please give me what I paid and as the dust settles in the aftermath of Monique's explosive expose on Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry, it seems that the queen of media has left a trail of contentious relationships in her wake. Beyond the spotlight, whispers of conflicts with influential figures like 50 Cent, Ludacris, and even Russell Simmons have begun to surface painting a complex picture of the media mogul's interactions with her peers. In a revelation that adds another layer to the saga, 50 Cent, known for his outspoken nature, detailed a long-standing feud with Oprah. The rapper, on his quest for validation and mainstream success, sought a coveted spot on Oprah's show. 
However, Oprah, uninterested in the explicit content of 50 Cent's music, shut the door on the aspiring artist's aspirations. She was completely against everything that was in my music. 50 Cent revealed. Reflecting on the pivotal moment, the rejection fueled a bitter rivalry that manifested in public jabs, including naming one of his dogs Oprah. Oprah's entanglements in controversies extend beyond the music realm. As Seal, the renowned singer, accused her of complicity in Harvey Weinstein's predatory behavior. Seal's Instagram post laid bare Oprah's alleged knowledge of Weinstein's misconduct for decades without taking any meaningful action. He posted accompanied by a meme capturing Oprah and Weinstein in seemingly friendly encounters, questioned her role as a beacon of empowerment in Hollywood. The accusations, fueled by the Me Too movement, cast shadows over Oprah's reputation, raising questions about her alignment with powerful figures accused of heinous acts. Adding fuel to the fire, Rose McGowan, a vocal advocate for the Me Too movement, publicly criticized Oprah's authenticity. McGowan, in a scathing tweet, accused Oprah of being as fake as they come, pointing to her past associations with both Weinstein and Russell Simmons, who faced allegations of sexual assault and misconduct. The tweet ignited a debate on social media, with discussions revolving around Oprah's sincerity in supporting movements that aimed to expose sexual misconduct in the entertainment industry. The drama doesn't end there as Ludacris, the multi-talented rapper and actor, claimed that Oprah edited out a significant portion of his comments during an interview. The rapper alleged that Oprah retained control over the narrative, selectively choosing what to include while suppressing his perspective. When I saw the final show, her, her comments were in there. Yeah, it was in there, but yours wasn't in there. And mine weren't in there, so it just looked like I kind of took it. Wow. Like, it was just quiet. And didn't Are you this man? Yeah, this revelation adds another layer to the narrative of Oprah's influence in shaping public perception, suggesting a level of editorial control that may have contributed to the shaping of public opinions about certain celebrities. Moreover, Oprah's association with controversial figures extends to John of God a Brazilian medium and healer whose profile she elevated through a 2010 episode on her show. You describe yourself as a spiritual medium. What does that mean, a medium? Imagine, so Recent accusations against Dideus for abusing hundreds of women have now cast a shadow on Oprah's role in promoting individuals with questionable backgrounds. The once-hyped healer is now facing serious allegations prompting a re-evaluation of Oprah's choices in endorsing and featuring such figures on her platform. A man who claims to work miracles and heal the sick. He calls himself John of God, but there's nothing godly about him. As the Hollywood drama unfolds, Oprah Winfrey finds herself at the center of a web of controversies with conflicts and associations that transcend the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry. The questions raised by Cat Williams Expose now extend far beyond alleged blacklisting, painting a portrait of a media icon entangled in a complex tapestry of relationships, scandals, and moral quandaries. Amid the ongoing drama surrounding Oprah Winfrey's relationships with various celebrities, a new chapter unfolds with comedian Dave Chappelle stepping into the spotlight. Rumors and unverified claims have circulated, suggesting that Chappelle may have exposed Oprah as a handler for Hollywood elites. However, it's crucial to note that these claims lack concrete evidence and may be rooted more in speculation than reality. When I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them. They're like, wow, all these brothers have their dress. The video does highlight an incident from Chappelle's appearance on Oprah's show years ago, where he discussed turning down a $50 million deal from Comedy Central. During that conversation, Chappelle expressed concerns about the industry manipulating black male actors into compromising situations for success. But certain times, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I think they make them like, wow, all these friends have to wear a dress. He recounted an incident where he was pressured to wear a dress for a movie scene a practice he believed was part of a pattern to compromise black artists' integrity for success. So why don't we just not do it? Because I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Oh, come on, Dave, listen, we, we got it all set up. We we're supposed to shoot. Every, every minute your waist costs this much money. This echoes the sentiment shared by Cat Williams in his expose, underscoring a systemic issue within the industry. As the dust settles on the Chappelle Oprah speculation, 
a new wave of controversy emerges, this time involving filmmaker Tyler Perry. Reports and gossip now circulate about Perry allegedly exploiting black men in the entertainment industry. The narrative suggests that Perry, a powerful figure in Hollywood, may be complicit in practices that compromise the integrity of black male actors for financial gain. Moving beyond the Chappelle Perry Oprah saga, the focus shifts to actor Christian Keyes, who recently shared a video detailing past sexual abuse at the hands of a powerful individual in Hollywood. At the same time, this person is sexually, sexually harassing me for years. Fans immediately linked Case to Tyler Perry because of their collaboration in Medea movies. And although there is currently no concrete evidence connecting Perry to the allegations, we have yet to hear any specific refutations from his side.